I've come to the realization that Major League Baseball pitchers are basically superhuman. Xbox Game Pass challenged us to surpass the superhuman abilities of professional pitchers. So I built this. We do a lot of projects around superheroes, like Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, but not all heroes wear capes. Some wear cleats. And the ability to throw one of these 100 miles an hour, that's damn near superhuman. Xbox Game Pass sponsored this video so I could be an MLB star. If you want to experience being an MLB star, check out MLB The Show 21. It's out on Xbox and Xbox Game Pass. Link in the description below. The general idea behind pitching is to throw the ball into this area and make it as difficult as possible for the batter to hit. A 100 mile an hour fastball reaches home plate in under 400 milliseconds. The swing itself takes 150 milliseconds, so that leaves the batter just a quarter of a second to see the pitch, decide whether or not to swing, and where to swing. In addition to throwing really, really fast, pitchers can curve the ball by adding spin. What boggles my mind is pitchers need to compensate for the amount of curve, hit a small target 60 feet away, all while throwing as fast as humanly possible. The average fastball is 93 miles per hour, but I wonder how fast mere mortals can throw. And completely miss. Forty-eight. Sixty-two. All right, all right. I'm getting better. Fifty-one. Whatever. Sixty-two. Fifty-one. 54. Oh. 61. 68. 68. I'll take it, I'll take it. Nothing. <laughs> 44, not bad. So none of us can throw 90 miles an hour, obviously. But what does 90 actually look like? We're here at Velo Baseball in Kitchener, Ontario, state-of-the-art training facility where serious baseball players come to train. We're here to find out what 90 miles an hour looks like. Let's take some swings. This is Tyler, who can throw 92 miles an hour. Oh boy. I kind of want to hit one, and I don't think it's going to happen. Oh! Oh! 90. 91, dude. Out of boy. Outside. is better than inside. This is crazy. All right, I got you. I got you. Let's go. Woo! Single up the middle. Up the middle. James, you ready? As long as I don't cross this line, I'll be fine, right? Hopefully. How's it feeling so far? It's not too bad. Oh! Oh! Woo! Ugh. How's it going? It hurts. <laughs> Absolutely. This is a cut. Good. Nice here as well. Yeah. Oh. Can you hear it? How's it going right there? It's uh, fine there. Yeah. 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 Where'd it go? A bit more tender. Right on the hand. Yeah. Fine. Oh, right on the hand. On the Fine. Do you want to see it in slow motion to distract you? No. Nope. Sorry, man. <laughs> Not your fault. <laughs> so we came here to see and, and feel what, what 90 mile per hour fastball feels like. And I can tell you, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go to the hospital. Um, I guess we have a title for the video, though. <laughs> All right. See ya. See ya. Take care.
Hope your hand is good. I think it's fair to say that I am not a professional athlete, but I am an engineer. So I'm going to enable cheat mode and make a pitching machine that has some unfair advantages. To do that, I need speed, spin, and accuracy. Let's do some math. The faster you pitch, the less time the batter has to react. But how fast do we need? Well, velocity equals distance over time. The quickest human reaction time is about 150 milliseconds. It takes another 150 milliseconds to swing the bat. The pitching distance is 60 feet and six inches. So if I can pitch at 140 miles per hour or more, then the batter will have no time to gauge whether or not to swing. So this is what I came up with in SolidWorks. I've designed these wheels to spin at 10,000 RPM, which is a surface speed of 240 miles per hour. So what about curve? Well, the faster the spin, the more the ball will curve due to the Magnus effect. By spinning one wheel faster than the others, I can get any curve that I want. As for accuracy, that's easy. I'll just add a laser sight. As an added bonus, I've decided to make this thing fully automatic. So if all else fails, I can just strike out the battery with rapid fire. Let's get started. I need a shaft to mount the flywheel to, and I need it to adapt to the motor so that the motor can drive it. So I'm going to use the lathe to drill a hole and then cut a keyway into it. But I also need a keyway from the motor shaft to the shaft, and I need to cut that using a brooch. This little keyway fits in the slot, slides right on there with the keyway that we just cut, and now it can't rotate relative to the motor. To hold the wheel, I need some bearings. To hold the bearings, I need to machine a housing out of this plate. This should be able to hold the wheel now. Yeah, works great. Now I just need to make five more of them. MGM controllers hooked us up with these beautiful little speed controllers, and despite their small size, they can output 180 amps continuous, or 11 kilowatts, which is pretty crazy. It's actually double what the motors can handle. So what I'm gonna do is solder on these little three-prong connectors so that I can connect it to the motor. Got all my parts together, just have to put it all together. It should be fun. This is the motor adapter plate. It screws on there with these holes. I want to spin it up, make sure that it doesn't vibrate itself to pieces. So let's give that a shot. This is just one of the three motors. Yeah, a little shaky. This is maybe 20% power. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm scared to go higher than that. I was really hoping that I could get away without balancing them, but I guess that was just naive. Definitely need to balance them before spin all three of them up while holding it, because that'll just vibrate itself to pieces. This machine measures the balance and tells you how much weight to add and where. Pretty cool. In this case, we uh, just removed material instead of adding material. The wheels were terribly out of balance, but they should be a lot better now. Yeah, that's significantly better. It's still a little, a little scary, but much better. Let's see how it does. That was awesome, but also a little terrifying because it was only 20% power. So this thing spinning up full speed, that's a future problem. Next, I need a way to hold the baseballs and feed them into the launcher. Let's start with a hopper. A clear tube should work. As much as I like rapid fire, I need a way to index the balls and feed them into the launcher one at a time. I've prototyped some designs and I think I've settled on a solution. Let me show you in SolidWorks. The basic idea here is to have a gear motor feed one ball in at a time. To do that, I've got an interference fit with a 
timing belt. Once I turn on the gear motor, then it forces them through. And the issue I was having previously and why I had so many iterations is that the ball was getting stuck at the very end. It would just kind of sit there. And that's why I have this tiny, tiny sprocket right here. This is my fourth and hopefully final design. It's currently being 3D printed, so we'll see how it works. Now I need a way to hold this. So I'm gonna laser cut a frame and 3D print some handles. Let's get started. That's better. But it's very heavy. Just once we get the rest of it on, the center of gravity will be closer to your shoulder it'll be much easier to hold. With the hopper done, it's time for the electronics. Cable management is important. My plan for this was just to squish it all together. Exterior cable management, I've got that down, but interior stuff, ooh gonna be tight. So I got the whole thing put together and I fired some balls and it wasn't firing as fast as I wanted because the wheels were slipping on the ball. And to fix that, I took it apart I remade the plates, I moved the wheels closer together so it would squish the ball more. And I put it back together, and it didn't work. Same problem. So, I took it apart, and I did it again. And then, I did it again, and it still doesn't work. It still slips on the ball. So at 12 o'clock at night, I've had way too much caffeine and I'm running out of ideas of how to fix this thing. I think I'm gonna take it apart again. It's been about two weeks of late nights, but it's done, or at least it better be done because I haven't tested it yet, but I think it's done. I've rebuilt this thing countless times, changed out the wheels, changed out the each of these parts I had to remake because I moved everything closer together, remade all of these 3D printed parts, I had to re-laser cut these, rewired it, it's all, it's all together. I have a full bin of failed prototype parts. Oh man, this thing is heavy. All we gotta do now is test it out. Ready, Daryl? This video is sponsored by Xbox Game Pass, the monthly game subscription service that offers gamers a library of over 100 high quality games on their console, PC, and Android devices, all for one low monthly price. Xbox Game Pass subscribers get all the benefits of Xbox Live Gold and can play a ton of great games. Enjoy blockbuster titles like Halo Infinite or Psychonauts 2 the minute they release on console for no additional cost. Discover your next favorite game, such as MLB The Show 21. Experience faster, deeper, and more intense moment-to-moment -moment action on the field with a variety of game modes for all you rookie players and returning seasoned vets. Unleash your creativity to build something truly epic with the new Stadium Creator Mode. Be sure to click the link in the description below to learn more about MLB The Show 21, the historic sports franchise out now on Xbox and Xbox Game Pass. Safety first, Axman's Store. 
For our first test, let's see how destructive this thing is. Oh, yes. That's safety rated glass. No, there's no shards on the inside. <laughs> we got stuck inside of her. Let's see what this does to some drywall. Right through. <laughs> yes. Concrete bricks. That was awesome. Let's take this thing to a field and play some ball. No. Yeah, go in. Sports harder. That was fun. Definitely, definitely further than I can throw. That was on like third power. These are the speed controllers for each individual motor, and we're at about a third, and that's that's full power right there. Zero power, full power. So I can control the spin by controlling each individual motor. So. For example, if I just want, want like a top spin, there, just one motor going. Maybe I want like a bit of side, there we go. Want a knuckle ball, all three the same. Last time was a knuckleball because I didn't have any spin on it. This time I've adjusted it to have a top spin. <laughs> yes! Look at that spin! Alright, this should be a breaking ball. See how fast this thing can go. 70. 77. A little faster. 72. 70. It's actually going slower with the wheels going faster because there's, uh, there's actually less friction when it's kinetic friction. So I'm gonna turn it down a bit See if we can get a little faster with slower wheels. Because that makes sense. So 77 was the fastest I hit right there, which is definitely faster than I can than I can throw by hand. But the issue I'm having is it's still just slipping on the ball. You see all that smoke coming out? That's it shredding the ball as it launches it. So as you saw, the faster I turn the wheels, the slower the ball actually went. There's just one last thing to do, set some balls. All right, Ian, don't hit my other hand. Hold still. Woo! Okay, let's give it a go. Yeah. That's not even that's not even padded. I know. <laughs> For safety reasons, I'm actually using softballs. So that one didn't actually hurt as much as let's say it hurt James. That would have felt a lot. That's actually really soft. Right? 
James is going to sign all of these and they're on hacksmith.store. A uh, very limited number, so check it out. Hacksmith.store, signed balls. Got a gift here for James. The guys at Bebo thought you deserved this. It's normally reserved for people who can throw 90, but you know, same club. That was incredibly difficult to hit, but we've already established I'm not a professional athlete. Xbox Game Pass sponsored this video so I could be an MLB star. So check out MLB The Show 21. There's a link in the description below and get your signed balls at hacksmith.store.